Hello there! <laughs> Dapper looking fellow, welcome one and all, welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon! Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Uh huh, it sure is, buddy. Beautiful cities, many Pokemon with which we share our lives, but not all of the Pokemon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As you know, our society is able to thrive. Oh! What the hell is that thing? <laughs> Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon, yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just get to the part where you're the evil guy, because you're the evil guy, right? <laughs> and those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Yeah! <laughs> That elephant is cute! <laughs> Yay! Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. Please tell me that he was in that. Ow! I'm actually hurting really bad now. <laughs> Yo, what up? Oh, you just got a Charizard back there. That's a really small Charizard. That boy nearly dabbed. That boy nearly dabbed. Oh, uh, <laughs> hi. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today. You know I don't lose battles, Ray Han. <laughs> Charizard Dynamax! Do that thing everybody's co very concerned with. Oh, Jesus, here we go. <laughs> Oh, there he is in all his glory, everybody! Charizard 4! <laughs> Yay! Pokemon Sword! Hey, everybody! Welcome to a new project of doing on the channel! Um, I, I- Oh, Wulu, you precious, precious thing. You precious goddamn little son of a bitch cinnamon roll motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I've been waiting to play this game! There's a lot of controversy about this game. Look at the wall! Lax, what up, buddy? You sleeping on the job? Or is your job to sleep? So this is us, huh? The girl that I just named off screen that nobody knows what her name is yet, but it's really fucking stupid, and as soon as it's said, I'm gonna feel ashamed. Hello? Hello? What up? <laughs> How you doing? Oh, that's your flash new phone, Glorson? <laughs> Her name is Gloria, apparently, for God's sake, so her name is Glorson. It's Glorson. Were well, you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Uh, get the fuck out of my house, who are you? Uh, a hop! Didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to Glorson. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind watching the match now. I've got a re re it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Oh, you guys are brothers? <laughs> Come with me, Glorson. <laughs> That's a dumb name, and it is not growing on me. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run, see you out of mine later. Bye, Hop. Gonna have a stupid name. I'm gonna hop on your face until it's a mush. Can I get up? Oh my god, am I playing? Oh my god, I'm playing Pokemon Sword. Hello. <laughs> uh, I should explain myself. I'm playing the girl because I like her design better. That's what it comes down to. Also, oh my god. You can immediately run in this game. That is insanity. And I'm playing Pokemon Sword, and her name is Gloria, apparently, and this one is Clarson. Anyway, we got that all ironed out now. Jesus Christ. Hello, Mom. Where are you at? If you're looking for your bag, Glorson, didn't you leave it in your room, you fucking idiot? Go and grab your bag and hat. Yeah, okay, where's my room, Mom? You don't remember the other day when you hit me in the head with the frying pan, Mom, and I completely forgot everything about my existence? Is this my room? Really? No privacy for when I need alone time, Mom? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you grabbed your mom's old bag. My mom is not an old bag, you shit! <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of ratty, honestly. Hmm. Oh, what, what's with the- Oh, it's hair. Jesus, I didn't know I had that. 
<laughs> Adventure guide. Open the X menu the, uh, the X button. <laughs> cool. You can save your progress by selecting save from the X menu. You can also check your location and your next destination by selecting the town map. You can check this adventure guide anytime you want in the key items section of your bag. Okay, well, hold on a second, because my ears are bleeding. But thanks for waiting, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I had the volume up really loud, and I didn't realize it was going to be that loud. What up, mother? Oh, don't you look a treat. Mm. I knew that bag would suit you. <laughs> now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? <laughs> Hop to it. <laughs> but remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. The fuck, that's kind of weird. Do we have a smart fridge? The fridge is filled with your food that your family likes. Do I have a dad? <laughs> or is he dead? Is he dead, mother? Did dad perish? Why do we have a munchlax? Are you my dad? <laughs> I think that's a yes. Jesus Christ. Oh, I guess we're out. Papa's waiting for you. Better head outside. Yep. Is this a loading screen? What the fuck? Wait, Pokemon has loading screens now? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a new one to me. <laughs> I don't recall loading in Pokemon. What the fuck? Yes, Hop. I see you, Christ. I'm trying not to. Badoo do. <laughs> well, badoo do to you too, little guy. Have a good, good one. Wait, what? Right trigger interacts with stuff? That's weird. Does right bumper? No. Left trigger does, though. Okay, sure. Why you got a Wooloo, dog? <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> Have a look at you, Glorson. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. God, I hope it's not a fucking Snorlax. What the fuck? This Wooloo is suicidal. Dude, it's gonna be okay. A Wooloo? But what's it doing here? Um, is that Wooloo yours? Like the one you're right? Because like, are we just gonna watch it kill itself slowly? Is it gonna keep doing it even if I don't press A? No, we stopped. Hey, you silly Wooloo. You're fucking killing yourself on that fucking fence. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No! Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in slumbering weald. We we weld. Well, we <laughs> yeah, it seems kind of indifferent. Now that that's taken care of. What did you do? I don't think progress was made. <laughs> okay, how about it, Glorison? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. With th what? With you lugging around that old big old bag. Okay, I don't know where your house is. I'm new to this. Do Wulu really roll around like that? Is that a thing? I don't know where you live. Oh my god, this place is awesome! Numu be -e. What's the sign say? Excuse me, sign. Welcome to the town of Postwick. A farming town since days of old, where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. Uh-huh. Okay, what up, old dude? How you do- Don't talk to me. <laughs> Did you actually have nothing to say? The power of science is- Oh my god, I found him. <laughs> I found him! This guy exists in every first town. Now you could battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. <laughs> Isn't that super amazing? Yeah, just not all of them though, right? Can I go in here? No? Wait, what? Uh, left stick does this. You click in left stick, it's doing that. <laughs> Sick! Yo, old man, you looking crazy! Science is looking amazing these days. And your name is Science. Is this Hop's house? Who the fuck are you, little guy? Get the fuck off the fence. Hiya, Glorson! Hop was looking for you, you know? But no need to go to the ta next town to find him when he lives right next door, you fucking nut. Is that... Is that the next town that way? Can I actually not get past... Oh! Oh, the the kid auto prompts you to say that. Okay, Hop's house. Yeah, he definitely probably beat me here unless, you know, he accidentally hopped and broke his fucking leg on the way. Hop, you got a fucking mansion, dude. Sorry, I'm gonna check out Hop's exterior before I go inside. Can I go in his garage? That story holds everybody prisoner. Can I go in his side door? That's upsetting. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to return this game. <laughs> Yo, what up? You must be Hop's mom. What is with the smart fridge? Like, okay, there's a little screen on it, I think. I think that's a screen. Mom is here. There you are at last, Hop. Christ. Oh, and you've brought along Glorson. <laughs> Hello, dear. 
Yeah, yeah, but where the fuck is Lee? Have you got him crammed up in a cupboard? Are you keeping him in the fucking shed like I do my prisoners, mother? He's still not here yet for the hundredth time! Honestly, Hop, you must learn some fucking patience! He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. <laughs> These names. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably for the best. Uh, that seems sarcastic. You've got to come with me, Glorson. You'll still never meet met my big bro, right? I can't miss out on your chance to meet with the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on the, on the route. Okay, I'm going to check out your fridge. It's family-sized fridge that can store a lot of food. I'm really glad I did that. Can I check the oven? I can't check the oven. Hello, mother. Go on with Hop to pick up Leon, won't you, Glorson? I know you're you're the reliable sort. I'll have everything ready for a barbecue in the garden by the time you're back. Oh, that sounds good. What are we gonna eat? There's a bunch of Wooloo outside. We can fry him up, right? <laughs> it should be. Was that a Glamio? Was that a Glamio? Was that a Glamio? Was a Glamio? <laughs> hey, how you doing? I don't like how you stand on your hind legs. It's like Uncanny Fucking Valley. What's going on? <laughs> oh, hi. Leon is so busy that he hardly comes home, but I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. This man has so many fucking hats. Whose hats are these? There's a collection of various caps. There sure is. I break my neck looking up at them. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh my god. Yeah, it should be noted that, yes, things did leak for this game, and as leaks come up that I know about, I will, I will say that I know about them, but for the most part, I've stayed pretty fucking blind on most things. Um, and I'll explain that as they come up. So if things come up that I know about, I'll acknowledge that I know them, but for the most part, there's a lot of leaks that I stayed away from. To hop his brother as a superhero. Who are you? Like, who are you? Is the mother black? Okay, well, I, I can't tell. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> like, is Hop- Is Hop, like- I can't even- Was Hop black? Cause, like, I'm just saying, like, that guy in there was black. like, what the f- <laughs> Like, do, do they have, like, a family friend? Or did that guy, like, break in and he's just kind of sitting there? Oh, Hop might be a little black. <laughs> Sorry, this is the dumbest conversation. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, what the fuck? I have no idea who that guy is, but he just managed to break into their house. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Glorson, wild Pokemon come- could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Glorson, you fucking unprepared little shit. So we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Alright, bye, Hop. Hop, skipping a jump away. <laughs> I'm gonna be making that joke for the rest of my life. Route 1. Oh, I love this little divot in Route 1. Man, it really- it's such an expansive game. <laughs> what up, bro? You're not very far off. Let's go meet Lee at the station. It's dead of, uh, ahead from here. All right, but no water in that gla grass. If you don't go Pokemon of your own, mate. Really? They're gonna mate me this close to the beginning of the game? Don't quote me on that. <laughs> that could be taken way out of context. You know, I just forget I even said that. Excuse me, on oh, oh, we mated me again. Would you stop mating with me, Hop? Jesus Christ! Is everybody waiting on him? Wow, look at this. All seven people. <laughs> Not a whole lot of people here in Wedgehurst. Uh. Oh, hey! <laughs> Shoot back or I'm gonna fucking punch you! Uh. Yay! Woo! <laughs> that girl looked like she was fucking crying! God damn it, he's stabbing! <laughs> hello! Hello, Wedgehurst! Your champion Leon is back! I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for all of you to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon, you and your Charizard are the greatest. <laughs> well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it! We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us, Lou Lee. Yeah, wow. Uh, so... That guy's patting his stomach, Jesus Christ, but that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on! Yeah, that's right. You don't want to cross me, I will fucking cut you down. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokémon could be strong as well. 
That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Gallard's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. That Charizard is like stupid small. That's not how small Charizard is, right? Is Charizard that small? Lee! <gasps> Damn it, it's my fucking brother. Fine, I'll just put on a smile. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> I can't even believe you guessed that without unzipping my pants. That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over there, I've got it. You must be glorious. Am I right? <laughs> I've heard a lot. And you, about you from my little brother, I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion, also known as the only champion ever, and a massive Charizard fan too. No, no, you're actually kind of a small Charizard fan, I see, because that Charizard is fucking stupid small. <laughs> People call me the unbeatable Leon. Well, at least they will until you get to the end of the game and kill me. Come on, Lee, and you, Glorson, but I can beat the both of you back home. Um... That Hop always wanted to beat people, even the people he locks in his garage. With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. That's a lot of shit you got on your cape. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll dab before I leave. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Uh, is that what he said? That doesn't make sense. Does that... that I probably read that wrong. He's literally running away! <laughs> Okay, bye! <laughs> it's been good. Not a beautiful, windy day. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it! You brought Glorson and me Pokemon, you you did, didn't you? you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. <laughs> Unzips fly. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a nice long loading screen. What up? What you gonna do? Take a good look, you two! Unzips fly. <laughs> oh my god, it's the grass type Pokemon Grookey! The fire type Pokemon Storm Bunny! And the water type Pokemon Shubble! Uh, Jesus, what the fuck did you bring? What fresh hell is this? Oh, they've run away. Well, that's too bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, Sc Scar Bunny? Scar Bunny, calm down, dude. Scar Bunny. That's quite an energetic little fucker. I guess literally vomiting, and this guy's playing with nuts. Oh my god, they're not- they're not that smart. They're not that smart. He literally fucking killed him! <laughs> it was super effective! Okay, guys, stop this. Stop. Stop. Cheer the fuck up, you little shit. <laughs> Alright, line up, everyone. Jesus Christ, have some order, for God's sake! They're so cute! Which one will you choose? Yeah, I've been thinking long and hard about this one, old champ -a -rooney. Great! Am I actually gonna have to make a decision right now? After this loading screen, which is still a very foreign concept to me in Pokemon? <laughs> Go on, you pick first! I've already got my Wooloo after all. Ah... Uh, Rookie? I don't want to pick you, but I want to look at you. Grassy Pokemon Groupie, yeah, Groupie. Haha, <laughs> Groupie! <laughs> it's soothing like a nice long walk in the woods. Is it? No. It's natural to want to consider your options, though going with your instincts is fine as well. You chose your uh, your dear partner however you like. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. What about you, Sobble? What up? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's right. That's the water type Pokemon, Sobble. It adapts to everything, anything as surely as water flows. Going with the uh, no, no. Actually, we're gonna be going with Score Bunny, but because of multiple reasons. Like when Score Bunny was first announced, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna. I'm, I think I wanted to go with the fire type from like the get-go before I even knew what the designs were. I really like Scorp- Look, like, look at this little fucker! He's raring to go! But um... Also, I- the- this- the- the evolutionary lines for Sobble and Grookey leaked, and they're both really cool in my opinion. But it took a while for, uh, this little dude, Scorp Bunnies, to leak, and I stayed away from the leaks. I have no idea what his second evolution looks like. I have no idea what his third evolution looks like. Hopefully not awful, because <laughs> I'm banking on the fact that, I don't know, I like it, because I, I really fucking hope I do. I know the third evolution's name, but I will withhold it, because if people want to pace themselves on spoilers, um, I don't want to just spoil things right out the gate.
I know the the names of all of the uh, the the evolutionary lines for both Sobble and uh, Grookey as well, but I I know the final ev Evo's name for Score Bunny, but that's all I know. I don't know what it looks like. It's not on the fire type. Oh god, dude, I don't fucking know. I just hope it's not an absolute train wreck. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Let's go, little dude. You chose Score Bunny. Hell yeah, I did. Do I like to give Score Bunny a nickname? As the <laughs> no, not not yet. Maybe I will. It's been added to your party. Oh joy! Come on, little dude. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna fucking punch it in the face. I'm kind of upset that I didn't, but also I'm kind of happy and relieved. <laughs> I just wanted the the interaction to miss and me to punch him in the fucking face. So it'll be Score Bunny for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. <laughs> yeah, I'll stand on one foot. I don't understand the human language. <laughs> this is a nice little monkey. Can I eat it? No, Wooloo, stay away. I bet you will be hot. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Glarerson. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce my own fucking name. <laughs> so the two of you can battle and train and grow together to try to reach me. Wait. No, don't show him being upset that nobody chose him! That is so fucking upsetting! <laughs> I literally just slapped my knee! <laughs> now it hurts. Charizard's gonna fucking eat Sobble, and you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess this works, whatever. <laughs> alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokémon and let's all eat. Mmm. All right, Mom, are we eating one of the prisoners from the garage? Mmm, goddamn delicious. Yeah, Charger's, Charger's about to fucking eat that Sobble. Mmm. Mmm. What the fuck? All right, where'd you get those? <laughs> Can I have one instead of you just wafting it around? You're gonna poke yourself in the fucking eye, huh? Jesus Christ. Did we just heal? Because, uh, I had literally nothing. The next day, you spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understand one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? <laughs> the fuck, Leon? <laughs> <laughs> Course I have, Lee. <laughs> Glorson's made fast friends with her score bunny too. Then listen up, new trainers, you fucking noobs. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust one in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. Uh-huh. What are you looking at here for, Lee? I'm the one who will be giving the champion to challenge you. I will paraphrase because the fucking pop filter's in my face and I can't quite, <laughs> quite read it. If you think Glorison might be able to challenge you, then I guess she'll be- she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know, you pathetic piece of shit. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. God! Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such- yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop, you, you piece of garbage. <laughs> Why is everybody so rude in this? <laughs> Yes, I'll be the judge of that! Let's see how you handle yourself in battle against your friend if she's up for it. What do you say? Will and ready to hop on the hop train? Yes. Believe in your partner Pokemon too and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'll cer I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. To have a champion time- What does that mean? Sure, okay. Are we battling? Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. A lot of weird Playboy shit, but whatever. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Oh my god, I thought fucking... I thought Hop exploded. <laughs> Your job is by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Send him out. Wait, are you gonna have two? This seems incredibly unfair. I only have one. I just have Score Bunny. A, ba a Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Yeah, that doesn't seem fair. I have a female Score Bunny. Uh, really? That is fine. <laughs> That's really weird. Isn't that incredibly rare to have a starter Pokemon be a female? Sure, whatevs is fine, tackle it! 
Square Bunny used tackle. Kill it! <laughs> the opposing ruler used tackle. Oh boy, this is such a fun battle to watch. Just uh, use tackle. Oh baby, it's it's the first fucking Pokemon battle in a Pokemon game. You best believe it's gonna be the most entertaining piece of shit battle you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> Let's tackle it again! Oh! Gotta put on a little variation in those moves. Critical hit. Why don't you get that before? Oh my god, what the fuck? A critical hit? What kind of beginner's luck? Uh. Oh. Yeah, that thing. I just murdered him. You feel good about that? Pokemon has gained experience. Look at him go. Wait, he leveled up? Really? Uh, okay. He learned Ember! This scene is scripted. It's not over yet. I have added another trusty ally to my team. Yeah, because he commented on the critical hit. Unless there seriously is just dialogue for that little slight variation. I don't know, man. I guess Ember him, because that makes the most fucking sense. I can't believe we have a female. Like, sure, whatever. Did you already know about type advantages? It's like you played fucking seven other generations. Jesus, scratch it in the eyeballs, Grookey. Yeah, I know about type advantages. You bastard. You bastard. <laughs> Oh my god. So, here's my philo- I just like how the- the champion, whatever the fuck is- it, Leon, that's his name, is just kind of staring condescendingly in the background. Jesus, sorry I'm not up to your standards, unbeatable champion. <laughs> god damn. Yeah, your Grookey's dead, how do you feel about this? Grookey fainted. I feel kind of bad. He's dead, he was kind of cute. Am I gonna be level 7 already? Fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> Everything's going by too quick! You beat my two Pokemon with one, and you and your score bunny are too much. You got four hundred thousand dollars for winning. You, your game shark is smiling. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Make me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on the. Fu that would be fucking unfair, you dumbass. Good effort out there, score bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? Did you heal me? Thanks. And Glorson, you've got a real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would ya? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on! You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You joined the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the gallery, you need a little shit? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. Jesus Christ. If that's really what you want to do, you too have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Glorson. Before you think about getting gym ba- What? What? Why single me out? <laughs> I'm the one that beat your dumb brother. <laughs> That's the thing about getting a Pokedex. One that only has about 400 Pokemon in it, apparently, even though there's several hundred more. Uh, trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths, but excluding 400 other Pokemon. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Christ, Pokedexes, then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for me and you then, Glorson. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm get going to be the next champion, so complete completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Especially considering there's less than half Pokemon. <laughs> Just another page of the tale of my legend. You'd probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Yeah, okay, I'll go tell my mom that. God damn it. Where do I live? It's been f Uh, Yosuke? Crashing into the trash can on your bike? <laughs> no? Okay. Clarson, did you just hear that? I heard something. I don't know what it was. Do Why can't I see it? The gate's open, and the Lulu that was there is fucking dead. Oh man, he actually got through. It was tackling the fence pretty hard early. You don't think it actually wanted to kill itself on that gate, do you? Ah, but it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once. And she came back fucking dead. And that was nothing compared to the earl earful she got from the professor, who, who was also dead. It's a really weird story. Glorson, what do you say? Uh, we gotta save it, right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene that we're, that where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Glorson. But I want to tell my mommy first. Sorry, hot bye. The slumbering wield, 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 
Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's an actual- I've never seen that word. It's over this way. Let's go find that Wooloo. Yeah, but I wanted to tell my mother. I wanted to tell my- I wanted to tell my mother. Alright, I'm coming. Come on, Glorison, we can't just leave that Pokemon on its own. Christ. That is gonna be it for this first episode. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut it short because I am recording this at 1.41 a.m. and I'm probably keeping my fucking parents up. <laughs> I feel really bad. But I wanted to get this out, like, day one because it would be fucking awesome. Um, because I went to a midnight release for this game, so that's- that's how I did it. Anyway, that is it! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If you guys want to subscribe for the remainder of the let's play, please do so. If you guys seen a moment you'd like to take for a moment's compilation that comes at the end of this month, go down in the description below to see how to do just that. I am so stoked for this game. There's a lot of negativity around this game, but I hope that I could develop my own opinion. One that's far less negative than the internet has. There's a lot of negativity that seems justified, but we'll get in that in deeper episodes in the let's play. Um... I have opinions, and I'm willing to share them, even if it gets a little backlash, which it probably will, because either side venting your opinion will probably receive backlash. It's just how the internet works. Anyway, that is it! Thank you guys so much for watching, and come back next time for more Pokemon Sword!